We got a good one here. Detention officer charged after horrific attack on minor. Detention officer charged with heinous crimes. Let's get to it. There's something really um, extreme happening with law enforcement, people in positions of authority, and children. All right? As long as I'm here, we're going to highlight it. Former... Wichita County Detention Officer has been charged with sexual assault of 13-year-old girls. You heard me what? right, multiple. Okay? 18-year-old Wichita Falls man is charged with two counts of aggra aggravated sexual assault against children. Uh, they say a recording was found and shared at one of the victim's school. What? Let's put what up a picture fuck? of... This guy, Joseph Sanchez, Aaron Joseph Sanchez, is his full name. According to the arrest affidavit, the offenses occurred on December 30th last year when Sanchez was 17. The investigation began with one 13-year-old victim, victim one, and then it was discovered that there was a second 13-year-old victim. Jeez. The first victim told investigators Sanchez drove her and the other girl uh, to a park early in the morning. She said she only knew Sanchez through the other girl and that she told Sanchez she was only 13 years of age. She said when they got to the park, Sanchez and the other girl had sex in his car, just, just perverted, had sex in his car, Sicko. and Sanchez then called her over and assaulted her. Police say the other girl confirmed victim was a count and that she had used victim one's phone to record them having sex. Jesus Christ. Police say they located the recordings on the victim's phone and then also located the video of another student's phone after it had been shared around their school. Put up the picture again of this alleged monster. Want people to we already know what it looks like. We don't need to show it again. Okay. Yeah. He's a Aaron sicko, creepy Joseph monster. Joseph Sanchez was booked into jail early December on the charges. And the next day, the Wichita County Sheriff, David Duke, yep, his name is David Duke, says he was terminated as a Wichita County detention officer. He posted bond the next day and also applied for a court-appointed attorney, signing a form stating he had no Maybe cash. Maybe he should get on that for his court-appointed attorney. Unemployment payment. Jeez. Let me highlight something. Do you know why so many people who are drawn to that profession abuse their authority? It's because of who they are before they get there. Well, it's not the fact of who they are. It's what they endured and been through a life. They probably go, and those are the type of people that have been bullied and manipulated and probably, you know, picked on and laughed at and, you know, and harass when they were like that. And they're the type of people that get pissed off at the world. And, they're, and they sit there and say, oh, I'm going to fight back. Or, here's the second point, or the latter half, I'll sit there and say. They're the type of people that go around there, they're really badass, big bubba, flexing their chest out, all through life, take their, take their, their big bad wolf, and you're the three little piggies in their, in their, in their own way. They're thinking that they go... They go around and lie thinking, oh, I'm bigger than bad you are. What are you going to do about it, punk? You're going to do nothing. You, know, you see how I'm going to say with this? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's because of who they are. Yeah. Before they get there. Yep. Now, there's a social dynamic involved in the culture of policing that can make it even worse. I agree with that. 
But we keep talking reform when we should be talking replacement. We keep talking reform when we should be talking about recruitment. There is something about the culture of policing that attracts this. Any other industry, if we had these issues with any other industry, highest domestic violence ratio, highest violence uh, and aggression ratio, high, uh, the highest profession that will kill somebody ratio, unlawfully, highest profession. If there was any other profession, we would say something's wrong with the industry, except for policing. Okay, uh, brother, what are your thoughts here? I totally agree. We have to relook at how we view policing in this country. Um, and it definitely starts with individuals before they get on the police uh, department. Because when we look at the screening process, they are going into this as, you know, a place that they can um, exude those um habits and those uh, things that they have before they come on, on board. So we have to rethink policing. And what that looks like, I think, is different from community to community. But I definitely think the cultures that are within the police department has to re be re-looked at. And it has to be re-looked at from a federal standpoint. I don't think from a local level, because it's clear that the local level is not working. So I think it needs to be re-looked at from a federal standpoint of how we, how, how we resurface police in this country. I agree, and there should be a standard, there should be uniformity uh, in practice and protocol. You will never get to that point without federal policy. I know some people are big uh, local control people, that's fine, but let's be real, you will never get to uniformity and police. No, that is, you know, the thing is, you know, we need to have a, a good, you know, like reform. We need to, you know, to educate them, to teach them the rights and wrongs. Let them, you know, teach them the, the good training, not just basic training to here's your badge, your gun, you know. No, you need, they need to go to school to teach like that. And they need to pass a written and a, and a background exam to become a police officer like that. You don't see like that because you start giving like that, you don't know because majority, I mean, one out of, what if, what if it's like one out of five cops are probably bad cops right there. I'm just giving this up my background which sits in my head. I mean, it could be less, could be more. But yeah, they need reform, any proper training for these cops to tell them, you know, what to do in certain situations. And you tell them, you know, don't abuse your power. The minute they abuse your power, you're gone. You're fired. Get out. You it tells them you won't even get a job as even a security guard. Think about that. With that said, I'm out here, Mike. Job. Peace out.